we are going to be asking for Mr. Johnson to step aside as Special Rapporteur. So what we just saw before the intro was Jagmeet Singh announcing that an NDP motion would be put forward in the House of Commons asking for Daniel Johnson to step down and call a public inquiry. Now I have a printed copy right here uh, of that motion and I'm going to put it up for you on the screen and I'm going to read out to you the highlighted part which states, call on the Right Honourable David Johnson to step aside from his role as Special Rapporteur and call on the government to urgently establish a public commission of inquiry. Now this motion is set to be voted on today in the House of Commons pretty much right after question period so somewhere around three o'clock as we can see by the order of business uh, that you see on the screen here. Now by all accounts this motion is expected to pass. The NDP proposed it and obviously they'll be voting for it. The Bloc Québécois has also indicated that they will be voting for the motion and I don't see as whether Conservatives would uh, deny this of them. Uh, it's an awesome motion and needs to happen. However, what happens after it passes and Mr. Johnson refuses to step down and call that public inquiry? Well, some people have raised the idea of contempt of Parliament. Here's the thing, though, and I'll put the definition up, or maybe it's not a definition, but whatever the blurb was on rcommons.ca, I'll put it up for you now, and it states, Contempt of Parliament refers to any action which, though not a breach of a specific privilege, tends to obstruct or impede the House in the performance of its functions, obstructs or impedes any member or officer of the House in the discharge of their duties, or is an offence against the authority or dignity of the House, such as disobedience of its legitimate commands or libels upon itself, its members, or its officers. So a few people have mentioned contempt of Parliament, referencing the idea that if Daniel Johnson refuses to step down, he would be disobeying, uh, basically disobeying an order or a command from Parliament. Now, the problem with that argument is that this motion is not a binding motion, and therefore, in my opinion, is not a legitimate command of Parliament. That gives Daniel Johnson the option to ignore this, or make some sort of reply saying that he understands the situation, but he's assured himself uh, and blah 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 and he's not going to step down well that would launch the ball right back into Jagmeet Singh's court and he'll have to deal with it however he can he's already indicated that he's not willing to force an election over this issue so I'm predicting the following this motion will pass in the House of Commons today Daniel Johnson will refuse to step down and Jagmeet Singh will likely do nothing about it. We won't have a public inquiry. Things will be just as they were. And the past three days will have all been for nothing. <laughs>